The Mitsubishi Regional Jet Japanese, Sanlinji Regionarujeto or MRJ for short, is a twin-engine regional jet aircraft seating 70–90 passengers manufactured by Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation, a partnership between majority owner Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and minority owner Toyota Motor Corporation with design assistance from Subaru Corporation, itself already an aerospace manufacturer. The MRJ will be the first airliner designed and produced in Japan since the NAMC East 11 of the 1960s, which was produced at a loss. The first flight of the MRJ was in November 2015. After several delays, deliveries are now scheduled to start by mid 2020. Topic Development Topic Launch In 2003 the Japanese government started a five-year, 50 billion yen $420 million research program to study an indigenous regional jet for 30 to 90 passengers, led by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries in 2004 MHI was focused on a 2 m high by 2.8 m wide, four-seater breast cabin, seating 30 to 50 passengers, and was hoping to fly a prototype in 2007 and deliver the first aircraft in 2010. In 2005 it switched to a larger 70-90 seat category, MHI launched its concept at the 47th Paris Air Show in June 2007, showing a full-scale cabin mock-up and aiming to be the first regional jet all-composite airframe, with certification targeted for 2012. Mitsubishi formally offered the MRJ to airlines in October 2007 the first Japanese airliner since the NAMC East 11 production stopped in 1974 after being the first airframer to select the Pratt & Whitney PW1000G geared turbofan offering a 12% reduction in thrust specific fuel consumption, rated at 15 1000 lbf 67 kilonewtons thrust on the 70 to 80 seat MRJ70 and 17000 pounds thrust 75.7 kilonewtons on the 86 to 96 seat MRJ90 projecting a 150 billion yen $1.275 billion development cost, MHI officially launched the Mitsubishi Regional Jet Program on March 28, 2008 with an order for 25 aircraft 15 firm, 10 optional from all Nippon Airways, targeting a 2013 introduction. Mitsubishi is targeting a 20% share of 5,000 sales forecast in the 70-90 seat bracket over 20 years. Flight testing was scheduled for late 2011 and the $1.9 billion program necessitates 300-400 sales to recoup its cost. topic design In September 2009 Mitsubishi unveiled extensive design changes, using aluminium instead of carbon fiber composites for the aircraft's wings and wingbox, the remaining composite parts will make up 10–15% of the airframe, the empennage. 
The cabin height is increased by 1.5 in 4 cm to 80.5 in 204 cm and the fuselage height is increased to 116.5 in 296 cm giving a rounder cabin wider and higher than its competition. The program was delayed six months with final design frozen in mid-2010, first flight delayed to the second quarter of 2012 and deliveries to early 2014, maintenance intervals are 750 flight hours per a check and 7,500 flight hours per C check, as the MRJ90MTOW of 39.6 T is above the U.S. Regional Carrier's Scope Clause of 39T, SkyWest and Trans States Holdings could convert their MRJ-90 orders for 150, respectively, to the 1.4 m shorter MRJ-70, 67% of the 223 firm MRJ-90 orders. But the MRJ-70 seats only 69 in two classes and attain the 76-seat scope close limit only in all economy, Mitsubishi wants to increase seating within its fuselage to compete with the currently compliant Embraer E-175 and Bombardier CRJ-900. Mitsubishi is working on a three-class, 76-seat design, with more premium seating than the MRJ-70 but still within the scope clause 86,000 pounds MTOW, to be unveiled at the June 2019 Paris Air Show. Topic assembly On 15 September 2010, the Mitsubishi Aircraft Corporation announced that it had entered the production drawing phase and was proceeding with the manufacturing process. Assembly of the first aircraft began in April 2011 with construction of the emergency escape for the cockpit. In April 2012, first flight was delayed to 2013. In December 2012, the MRJ-90's delivery was scheduled for 2017. In early 2013, Pratt and Whitney delayed the PW1200G certification to the latter half of 2014 after the MRJ first flight scheduled for late 2013. On the 22nd of August 2013, Mitsubishi announced a third delay to the program, and that the first flight would take place in the second quarter of 2015 instead of end 2013, while the first delivery to launch customer ANA would take place in the second quarter of 2017 instead of 2015, due to parts delivery problems including Pratt & Whitney engines. On 7 September 2013 were exhibited a prototype of the left wing and four aluminium sections, forward fuselage, front mid fuselage, aft mid fuselage and aft fuselage, to be assembled in October 2013. Mitsubishi has hired foreign experts to help with relations with suppliers, ground tests, flight tests, and certification. Pictures of the first fully assembled MRJ 90 were available on 26 June 2014. An official rollout occurred on 18 October 2014. Topic. Testing The maiden flight of the MRJ-90 took place on of November 2015. On 24 December, Mitsubishi announced a one-year delay for the first delivery of the MRJ, to mid-2018. 
The delay was attributed to insufficient wing strength and the redesign of the landing gear for better safety. Much of the flight testing for the MRJ-90 will take place in Moses Lake, Washington, at the Grant County International Airport, due to the crowded airspace in Japan causing scheduling difficulties. Static strength tests were completed on November 1, 2016 and confirmed that the airframe could withstand 1.5 times the maximum load. In January 2017, a further two year delay was announced, pushing the expected first delivery to mid 2020. This resulted from moving the avionics bay and wiring looms and in March the flight certification program was extended from 2,500 to 3,000 flying hours. Mitsubishi didn't confirm. Four of the five delays were caused, at least partly, by failures to document work for certification or similar failures. As a result, development cost ballooned to 350 billion yen, 3.17 billion dollars, and the project might never able to fully recover its costs. Mitsubishi originally planned to use five flight test aircraft and two ground test aircraft but one or two additional aircraft will also be needed following this introduction of a two-year delay to mid-2020, Seattle engineering consultants Aerotech LLC saw problems for avionics and its wiring certification. Damage could cause single point of failure, due to fire, water flooding from a ruptured waterline or from part penetration of an engine explosion. This necessitated hardware changes in the bays, now frozen, but the electrical wiring interconnection system have to be reconfigured with hired specialist Lakecore Air. In June 2017, 940 hours of flight tests have been done and the four prototypes have an above 98% availability. On 21 August, FTA-2 experienced a flameout 170 km west of Portland International where it landed, partial damage was confirmed in the PW-1200G and the test fleet was grounded until the cause is known. Flight testing resumed on the 6th of September. By December 2017, the MRJ test campaign was half done with 1,500 flight hours and less than 1% cancelled due to technical issues. Their rate is accelerating with tests set up before the January 2017 avionics bay redesign, special runway tests, extreme environment and high altitude tests, to be completed in 2018. An additional flight test aircraft incorporating the redesign will join the campaign in the second half of 2018, focused on wiring tests like lightning and high-intensity radio frequency. Two additional aircraft 10,007 and 10,010, recently painted white and under structural assembly in December, will be completed and will join the flight test campaign towards the end of 2018. At the end of the year, the mid-2020 deadline seemed difficult to achieve. In January 2018, the avionics bay rearrangement and rerouted wiring were almost complete to be adequate for extreme events such as bomb explosions or water ingress underfloor. 
Upgrades and ground tests were performed on four flight test aircraft from February to March at Moses Lake, preceding flight testing for natural icing, avionics and autopilot, performance, stability and control. In April 2018, the test fleet had logged 1,900 flight hours. The flight test fleet attained 2,000 hours in May 2018, and as most of the flight envelope was explored, the next trimester shifted to runway performance, takeoff, landing and minimum control speeds. The MRJ-70 test aircraft number 8 and 9 were in final assembly as of May for expected delivery by the end of 2021, one year after the MRJ-90 introduction. An MRJ in all Nippon Airways livery was exhibited at the July Farnborough Airshow, alongside appearances by the similar Embraer 190E2 and larger Airbus A220. In October 2018, Bombardier sued Mitsubishi in Seattle, alleging that its ex employees stole trade secrets to help for U.S. certification. By then, the four MRJ-90 prototypes had clocked 2,400 hours, targeting certification in late 2019 or early 2020 and first delivery in mid-2020, while the smaller MRJ-70 should be introduced in 2022. After the MRJ program lost Y47.2 billion for six months to 30 September 2018 on top of its Y110 billion deficit, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries injected Y220 BN $1.94 billion in Mitsubishi aircraft, raising its stake from 64% to 86.7% and capital from Y100 billion to Y270 billion. Mitsubishi wants to dismiss the Bombardier allegations and should be heard in Seattle's U.S. District Court on the 11th of January 2019. By December 2018, the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau delivered its type inspection authorization, allowing to debut certification flight testing in early 2019 with the 4MRJ90 in Moses Lake. In April 2019, a federal judge dismissed Bombardier's claims against Mitsubishi, a strong case but felling short as there was no proof that Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi knew about those secrets. By then, the program had completed 2,600 flight hours and was undergoing crosswind and climate testing, while two more MRJ 90s should join this summer. Production A new production facility for the aircraft was built at Komaki Airport in Nagoya, Japan, on land purchased from the government at a total cost of 60 billion yen. The 2015 rollout of the MRJ took place at Komaki, which had previously been the development site of the Mitsubishi A6M0 fighter. Mitsubishi announced in June 2013 that it would establish a quality control facility in Illinois for the sourcing of MRJ components from the United States. MHI employs new production methods such as integral wing stringers, unusually tight tolerances, shot peening of curved surfaces, and vacuum-assisted resin transfer molding, intended to increase quality and thus reduce expensive fault correction to keep price competitive. On the 26th of April 2017, the fifth MRJ was complete in Anna livery, lacking only engines and nose cone. Aircraft number 
6 and 7 had the fuselage and wings joined without the tails and the 8th, the first MRJ-70, was at the assembly line start. Mitsubishi can manufacture 12 aircraft concurrently, in Station 1 air joined fuselage sections, in Station 2 the landing gear, wings and horizontal stabilizers are attached, in Section 3 the major components are assembled, in outfitting takes place in Section 4 and ground tests in Station 5, then the completed aircraft moves to painting. Topic Stretch A 100 seat stretched MRJ 100 was studied in March 2011. As of June 2015, it was still under evaluation. Topic Specifications Topic Customers The MRJ's future is uncertain after six years of delays, with 70% of the backlog shared by two U.S. regional carriers bounded by scope clauses. The MRJ 90 is too heavy, and the smaller MRJ 70 accommodates seven seats less than the 76 permitted. Following five postponements, and having lost 10% of the MRJ's order book following the acquisition of Eastern Airlines by Swift Air, Mitsubishi Aircraft closed its books at the end of March 2018 with a negative net worth of $979 million. Orders. All Nippon Airways was the first customer, with an order for 15 MRJ 90s and an option for 10 more. At the July 2012 Farnborough Airshow, Skywest agreed to buy 100 MRJ 90s, to be delivered between 2017 and 2020. The deal is worth $4.2 billion at list prices. During the 2013 Regional Airlines Association Conference, held in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Mitsubishi announced that ANI Group Holdings, which firmed a MOU for five MRJ aircraft in June 2011, cancelled the deal. Without giving further details, by December 2018, the MRJ 90 had 213 firm orders plus 194 commitments. Topic: Cancelled orders. Topic: Potential orders. In March 2008, and again in October 2008, Sankei Shimbun and Fuji Sankei Business I reported that the government of Japan would buy 10 MRJs to serve as short haul and small field VIP transports, supplementing the existing Japanese Air Force One Boeing 747 aircraft. The government was still considering this option as of July 2013, with MRJs possibly supplementing new Boeing 777 long haul VIP transports. According to the Nihon Keizai Shimbun, on 20 July 2016, one of the officials at Iran's Ministry of Transportation announced Iran is buying 25 ATR airplanes for Iran. 
Eastman Airlines and for further purchases Mitsubishi has showed interest in offering 20 MRJ planes on the 21st of May 2017 Iran cancelled its plans to buy Mitsubishi's regional jet MRJ from the Japanese company Inability to set a delivery timeline for ordered aircraft and lack of testing were cited as their main reasons. See also Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Airbus A220 Antonov and 148 Bombardier CRJ 700 series Comac ARJ 21 Embraer E Jets E Jets E2 Sukhoi Superjet 100